Welcome back, everyone, to Final Fantasy VII. Now we're going to go one-on-one -on -one against Rufus. Fortunately, they give you the option of being able to remove all the materia from the rest of the party. So, pretty much, you can put on whatever you want, you know, to get your APs. The only ones that really matter, at least in my opinion, uh, you need poison, uh, sense, and wouldn't hurt to have restore just for curing abilities. Otherwise... <laughs> Just go on ahead and equip whatever the hell you want. Oh, well, at least Rufus is, is polite enough to let, to let you prepare. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no, take your time, Cloud. I'll wait. What a swell guy. Yeah, so let's just have that little chit-chat here. Wait. All right. Ah, never mind. Okay, so the boss fight with Rufus, it's uh, not just him. Uh, he's got this little pet here known as Dark Nation. And you a shotgun. Get dark <laughs> and a shotgun, yes. Dark you Nation? Wanna get you want to get rid of Dark Nation as soon as possible because, as you can see, Dark Nation can cast barriers, which is just going to you know, take up more time. So Rufus has just got the... Uh, Normal uh, physical barrier, so any physical attacks are going to be reduced. So 500, not a whole lot. Uh, he's actually, he's very susceptible to poison. I mean, you know, Bio killed Dark Nation in one shot. So Is just that... go on ahead and, just go on ahead and uh, poison him. And he'll actually do a fair amount of damage. And yeah, look at that. Poison. Boom. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah. I don't look, have look to. At, I don't have to worry about barriers now. Yeah, I'll just look at let that. the poison the no do the work. The normal ass guy does not is weak to poison. Hmm. And now also, I guess. Also, th is, I'm sorry. Is yeah. is that Palmer hanging up the helicopter back there? Nah, it's just some guy. On, nah, there's nobody hanging off the helicopter. I swear, like on the right side, I, I see like a some, something big with, with, with like in brown, like hanging like right there. I, I swear that's Palmer. I probably gotta stop and take a look at that uh, footage. But um, regardless, this is all Rufus does is shoot you with a shotgun. Mm-hmm. No what? other attacks. So it's like this is another one of those things. I'm really curious as to how this fight in particular is gonna be handled in the remake. Like, are they gonna actually give him more abilities, or are they gonna make him wicked fast, or? Or what? Because, I mean, you cannot just have him standing there with a shotgun and just letting you wail on him. Again, going back to the whole how shotguns, how guns in general don't seem to do a whole lot. What the fuck? It's a, it's a shotgun! It's a, I, 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 swear, I swear to God, one of these shotgun rounds straight to your head will kill you sooner or later. Can you, can yes, you, can but you, can you talk to, uh, can you talk to, uh, President Shinder's corpse? I think it's, yeah, it's just nothing, really. Actually, you know why the shotgun what? didn't work on Cloud? Why? He's not a zombie. Okay. Because we yeah, all- Yeah, it's like Rufus, Rufus is so fucking badass, it's like, not only does he hang off of a helicopter with one arm, but he uses the <gasps> other arm to shoot off a shotgun! I mean, we all know, we all know how zombies are weak to shotguns, but that wasn't the case here. So wait, wait. It, it, actually, come to think of it, in, in Final Fantasy VI, isn't it like an undead status? Um, usually in the, um, like, uh, undead, zombie. So, yeah. you're weak to gun, then. Okay. Too, too bad the undead status is, isn't in this game, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, that was no, the joke. There is... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> anyway. Alright, so now after, after this dialogue, we're gonna be approaching... Oh, probably... What, hands down, one of the most fun mini games in the entire game. Also, one of the better cutscenes in general. Yeah. Okay. Because it's fully rendered people. Oh, oh, here we go. This is the first shot where you can actually see Red Red Thirteen's tail on fire. I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like literally, like he's going downstairs. <laughs> Oh man, if only I had this thing when we were going up those those flights of stairs. Why does nah. the door open that way? Do you guys see that? 
When when Tief opened the door, it, op it opened the it opened the wrong way. What do you mean? Uh, what, what, what do you mean it opened the wrong way? Yeah, like, that's just how that's just how um, the, yeah the trucks are designed. I mean the truck has three freaking wheels. <laughs> well even well, even still like good like ugh. fuck it. Like what do you mean the wrong way? Because I know of cars that open up multiple ways. Well no, because like you know when you, when you, when you, on most cars when you open a door like you open it up from like from like the back. Ugh, I don't even know how to fucking how to fucking explain it. Fuck it, whatever. Like, uh, I'll let okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll let Russell like go back and watch, and then maybe he'll see. Anyway, okay. the mini game. So so uh pretty much uh pick your party uh because there is a boss battle after this. So what you're gonna be doing? You're gonna drive around on this road, and we have uh little soldiers on bikes that are gonna try and attack it attack you. You just have to slash them. <laughs> And try not to take too much damage. Because the damage that you take in this minigame actually does carry over to the boss battle. Oh. So, so, yeah, if there's... Yeah, like, Barret there is kind of taking a beating, but I'm not using Barret, so I don't give a shit. I'm more concerned about keeping Aerith and Red 13 alive. <laughs> it's just... Actually, seeing this is reminding me of something. Uh, what? Um, I think it's a Japan exclusive thing only, but they've got a mobile game. That's strictly based off of this motorcycle mini game. Also, oh, don't it. don't don't hit the motorcycles when they're in front of the truck. But I, I forget what it's called. Because but then again, the name they will, probably. Uh, they I'm will sorry. crash. They they will crash back and run into the truck, causing damage to the, to the other four. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I mean, it's like. God. But yeah. So I'm. I cannot wait. To see how this renders out in the remake. <laughs> right. No, I, no I'm, I'm dead serious. It's like, oh, the high-end the high end graphics, you're playing this minigame, and you got all the shit zooming by and everything. I mean, I think this is going to be probably one of the coolest parts of the remake. Now, I have it's two just questions. Just segments. I have two questions here. Yeah. Uh, sure. One, why aren't these guys going... Why are these guys focusing more on the truck and not on Cloud? The one who's clearly being the more offensive here. Well, probably because Cloud can maneuver a lot easier than a truck. Wait, they Quick. got a healer! Take him out! Qu okay, question two. Why isn't Barrett helping? He has a fucking long-range gun. He can at least <laughs> shoot from the back. Well, you can see the animation that he is uh, firing. I don't know if that actually does do anything. But, is I he? mean, you do... S yeah, you do see him, like... You do see him, like, you know, pointing his gun and firing. I don't. I doubt it actually kills them or anything because it's pretty much still relied, in, you know, uh, all on you. Yeah, you're, you're right. Because guns are useless in this universe. Uh, if 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 five shotgun rounds to the face won't kill anybody, then I don't know what will. Now that being said, here's actually a okay. So normally it's a back attack. If you hit the trigger buttons, you automatically go up to the front. And when you do that, it gets rid of the back attack uh, disadvantage. Uh, That's a glitch. Is... That is a glitch. That's a glitch in this game. So uh, if, you okay. ever end up, if, if you ever end up with a back attack, just hit the trigger buttons as if you're going to escape, and you immediately face forward. You don't, and basically, you know, yeah, you avoid that whole, uh, you take more damage because you're getting hit from behind. Although the only drawback to that, as far as I'm aware of, is that depending on who you have in your front and back rows, it's pretty much switched if it's a back attack. Yeah, but I really don't bother too much with the whole front row, back row thing, especially since I don't have long-range fighters in my party right now. Right, but it, right. But regardless, it's another robot, so just attack and cast uh, your lightning magics. And this guy is relatively simple. You know, when he's in the form where his body is up, he'll use physical attacks. When he's like this, he'll start using fire attacks. You know... I saw Red 13 trying to steal something and, and, and unsuccessfully. You know what I wish happened though? Like, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool if, like, for certain enemies, using using the steel, uh, using steel will actually like um, like put you like put them at a disadvantage. Like, Red 13 used steel on this robot. He stole a bunch. He, he, he stole a bunch of its screws. Robot can't yeah, function properly uh, really now. Yeah, uh, BJ, this isn't Final Fantasy X we're talking about here. <laughs> that actually happens in X. 
Yeah, yeah that's it, a, it actually that, does. That is, it actually that's does. Actually, that, that's a mechanic in 10. Uh, when you get your thief character, Riku, you can, you have her steal any uh, machine enemy, it instantly falls apart. It's huh. an instant K. It's an instant KO against Machina weapons. Yeah. So oh, how about so, that? E wow. So, yeah. That that's still three games to come. Well, if, if if that's something that they've already actually utilized, I hope that's something they actually like pull in, pull off in the remake. If the, if the steel material has to leave in there. I don't know. Then again, there's a whole. Then again, Square for whatever reason doesn't want to seem to you know try and like work more on the Final Fantasy X battle system, which is like one of the few positives about X I'll give because I fucking loved the combat in X. Yeah, it was pretty good. And it is dead. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm suddenly what? remembering the scene in Final Fantasy VII Abridged where it, oh, it was. It. It, it wasn't. Aerith wasn't Keep in that the fight. The references but it was... on a low. No. <laughs> Everyone would think to do it. that. Everyone would think to do that. Well. <laughs> well, that's okay because we're pretty much at the point now where the Mission Abridged uh, references, at least at the at this point of the recording, which is like halfway through April. We're pretty much hitting the end of the Machina Bridge right now. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. So, yeah. So, yeah. Which means I can't make any more Machina Bridge jokes until season two. But that's oh, okay. Man. But so, so, so suffice it to say, ten episode, ten episodes in, f which is roughly five hours of game time, we are finally leaving Midgar. Oh, ten Wait a damn minute. Ten episodes of the Abridge series is ten episodes of this. Yeah, I was just about <laughs> to say. What the fuck? But yeah, it's like, uh, but yep. We are finally getting out, and we're gonna finally explore the world. All right, pack your things. We're going to Disneyland. Yep. So, uh, pretty much when you're ready to go, you can just head on out, or you can just, you know, you can just talk to everybody, which is pretty much what I'm gonna do here. Now, um, I guess now's probably a good time I can start talking about how I'm gonna handle the parties uh, in this uh, let's play. Um, right now, I've got Red 13 and Aerith, and basically what I'm going to be doing is, I want I want to do like what I did with Eternal Sonata. I want to show off everybody. So I'm just going to basically, it's going to be Cloud and your two most recent party members to have joined, which right now is uh, Aerith and Red 13. When we get our next character, Aerith will be coming out to make room for the new character. When the next character after that comes out, Red 13's getting booted out, and we're just gonna keep going down that line until we get all the characters, so that gives you all the opportunity to really see them in action. <laughs> why do they ch why do they choose to make Cloud the leader? Like, uh, like <laughs> because like, main character status. Aside, from, I know I knew you were gonna fucking say that too. Aside well, from main character status. To be fair, considering what just happened in the Shinra building, Cloud has a bit more knowledge on that than anyone else. Like, because compared to compared to everyone else in the party as of right now, no one knows who Sephiroth is except for Cloud. <laughs> now, the funny thing about this part, uh, which sadly I didn't get to show off because of my party. Uh, depending on who you have in your party, you can actually get different options. Like, if you have, uh, if you take Aerith and Tifa with you, Barrett will be like, heh, I should have known. But if you take Barrett and Red 13 with you, Tifa's like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> so, just, so, I yeah, set the sausage fest on the road. Yeah, so it's <laughs> no like, girls you allowed. all men or all women, there's gonna be a comment. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh, no girls allowed. <laughs> All right, so now... Our first stop is to go to a nearby town called Calm. But before we do that... I think it's time we finally get into enemy skills. Because uh -oh. right, right outside of Midgar is the access to the first enemy skill you can get in the game. Are we getting Macho Magic? Yes. Yes! I knew Matra it! Yeah, Macho Matra Magic is the first enemy skill available to you. Nice. And at this point, I'm just waiting. I'm just running around trying to get it because it's these, uh... I forgot what the enemy is called exactly. They're machine weapons, right? They're like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh... Yep, these guys. I think they're called... Yeah, I think they're called sweepers or something. So, right now, um, I put the, um, enemy skill materia on Aerith so you can see it's grayed out because there's nothing there. So pretty much just play the waiting game. 
<laughs> Matra magic. You'll see she'll do a little twirl. And the enemy skill is learned. So Matra magic does non-elemental damage to everybody and it only costs 8 MP. This is actually a really good enemy skill to have at the very beginning of the game. Because you basically have like an attack that will attack everybody at a low MP cost. So it's pretty much like Ruin from Final Fantasy XIII. <laughs> I suppose, but um. Or is ruin like matcha magic? <laughs> Shut up, BJ. So there you go. And I mean, this came first. <laughs> yeah. So be, so because it's non-elemental, it'll pretty much do pretty good damage regardless of the enemy. Right. Where the fuck is Aerith shooting those out of? Shut up, BJ. <laughs> They're a bunch of missiles. <laughs> the mechanical missiles. Is she just magic magicking them out of nowhere? <laughs> Okay, so now, some of these enemy skills that you get, like Mantra Magic is one of them, you can actually learn from multiple enemies. I'm just going to be showing off, like, your first instances, like, at, like the earliest points that you can get these enemy skills. So then I and, I will be, I, I... and I will be going after every single one of them. Good. Then are you going, are you going to be getting beta as early as you can, then? I unfortunately am not going to be able to. And <laughs> oh, you liar! Explain, you lied. I will. I will explain why in a couple of videos. I'll but say liar. now, but now we are in the town. Calm. So you just go right up at the DN, and everybody is right there waiting for you. I was gonna bring up beta, but I didn't know if that would be spoilers or not. That's okay. We, you know, I'll get more into beta a little bit later. Now for exposition and backstories. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like Barrett's comment there. You call that a friend? Well, I mean, he killed the guy you hate the most. True enough. <laughs> War, war buddies being the actual terminology. Yep, so once again, we're they're bringing up this war that happened. Alright, so... So yeah, that handsomely little devil bell over there in the corner there! Darby Sephiroth! Sephiroth! Not yet, Ryan. <laughs> Hello there, hello oh. there, ge hello there, ge ge generic soldier Mook. What is your name? Uh, <laughs> my name's lots of, uh, lots of, soldier lots of number two. Yes, yeah, soldier number one, soldier number two, and the driver, I guess, is soldier number three. It's like, who gives a shit about any of them? My actually, name's Carl. Actually, my, actually, <laughs> just my, like a kid. Actually, my name, is, my name is Cloud. Really? What a coincidence. That's my name, too. <laughs> We could be cloud buddies. <laughs> oh fuck! I, w I wish I paid more attention in science class. I could I, I could have made some I, I could have made some, some some intelligent cloud joke, but I forgot the names of I forgot the names of the different clouds. <laughs> oh, I will be your Stratus cloud. Thank okay, you, anyway. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> anyway. I just want to say it's. I just want to point out that's like okay, we got Shinra with all with like their money and technology, and they're sending their soldiers off in trucks. <laughs> that's like you're not even like dropping them from a helicopter or nothing. What do you expect them to do? Pay money, God. Alrighty, so in these flashbacks, we actually have Sephiroth. In the party. The oh. thing is, though, he is controlled by AI. So that's why I'm not going to really bother bringing up his stats or anything. Just know he's um, a tad overleveled. He's also fireproof. Yeah, pretty much every enemy that you run into in these flashbacks... Yeah, they will do no damage to Sephiroth, but they can kill Cloud because Cloud's level one. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because I was about to say oh, I, I've, I've had some what? instances where I went. I've had some instances where I went through this cutscene, and Cloud would be the one dead. 
Well, yeah. that makes sense. I mean, it wouldn't make much sense if Cloud was the same level as he is here. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, yeah, that's true, like... True, true. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, bear in mind, yeah, this was five years ago, but still, it's like, if you actually, like, open up the menus and stuff, which you can do in these flashbacks, you'll see, yeah, yeah Cloud is level one. That's also kind of pathetic. You're in Soldier. Why, how, why the hell are you so weak? How did you get in Soldier if you're so weak, bruh? Come on. Makes no sense. I think they're... I think pretty much just trying to do that they're just trying to show like the difference of power between cloud and sephiroth yeah it's like seriously Gor compared to sephiroth what is cloud at that at that at that point in time i mean sephiroth i believe is level 50 well I, well i <laughs> so i mean i mean that's like yeah f i mean 50 is still pretty damn high and we're in like if they were gonna go by what the party level is like right now like in like current game time I mean, it's like, yeah, we're, like, in the teens, like, pushing level 20, and Sephiroth is still, like, 30 levels above us, so, I mean, he'd still do considerable damage. But I think that's pretty much why they did it. They, they wanted to show the difference of power between Cloud and Sephiroth here. All right, so now we've got control. Yep. So you can talk to these soldiers. And this town should look a little bit familiar to you. Or at least a particular structure should look very familiar. He really doesn't want to be in Soldier. Oh, is that getting into the idea of how... You mentioned before how, how it's the Turks that recruit these people, but I guess based on what that guy just said, is it, is it true that they really don't have a choice in the matter? I think it depends, really. I mean, it's like, you know... Because we really haven't ha seen, like, instances where, like, the Turks, like, forced somebody to recruit. I mean, even in, like, previous games. Like, even in, like, Crisis Core, when you actually run into other, like, members of Soldier, like, first-class soldiers and everything, there was never really, like, any mention of, like, you know, how they joined in the first place. It's just, they're there. So... I don't really know whether to say if it's like, you know, do they, do the Turks like just force people or is it just they, they scout and when they find potential candidates, that's when they, that's when they approach them. Also, probably should mention, this is Nibelheim. This is Cloud's hometown. Yeah, that was already stated. Yeah. Was yeah, it? I believe, we, yeah, I believe we mentioned that in, uh, uh what was it, episode two. Because, yeah, if you remember, the water tower. I mean, they just mentioned it in the truck too, so. Well, yeah, but like I said, the water tower that's in the middle there should be very familiar well, because of course. this is where Cloud. That's where Cloud and Tifa made their promise. Right, of course. All right, so, so if you want to continue with the storyline, you just go to you just follow Sephiroth into the inn and talk to him. However, you can actually explore the town, go into the houses and such, and you know. You can talk to the people there and, you know, get some pretty interesting dialogues. Oh, fuck Ouch. you. Ouch. Yeah. 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 So, so that house I just walked into, again, should look a little familiar. <laughs> this is my house. Yep, so you can either suit show, go yes or no. So yeah, Cloud, raised by a single mom. What was her reaction? What? Oh, yeah, duh. <laughs> I, I forgot about that detail. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, so. Now we get to see mommy. Now, we did see part of this uh, dialogue in the flashback in Aerith's house, if you recall. But now we're going to actually see more. If I, I have a look at you. If Why I are you so scrawny? Aren't you eating? So if I recall, there is not much um, in terms of concept design for Cloud's mom. I think there's only like one official piece of artwork as to what Cloud's mom looks like and stuff in full detail. She's not right. that important of a character, so. But 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 even so, even like when you play Crisis Core and everything, you know, Cloud's mom is in Crisis Core, and it's like. She more or less sticks to the model that we see here, you know, long blonde ponytail, she's wearing a dress and an apron, I mean, it's a very simple design. 
The spike here came from his father. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, <laughs> not interested. Yeah. No, I don't want to talk about this right now. There's, there's the famous catchphrase. <laughs> Mom, I don't know how to tell you this. There's gonna, there's gonna be no girlfriends in my life. Oh, of course there is, honey. There's always someone out there for you. Mom, meet Barrett. T DJ. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, DJ. <laughs> well, no. Keep in mind what he's. Keep in mind one of the things he can say to, to, to the Don. <laughs> yeah, there's a man in my life. All right, so <laughs> that was Cloud's house. So you go next door, and it's Tifa's house. Did you go, go to my house? <laughs> Did you go oh, to my yeah. house? Oh. <laughs> yep. So now we can explore Tifa's house. Cloud, if you Cloud, if you if you stole anything from my room, I swear to God. Oh, speaking of which, do we get do we get to do the thing now or later in Tifa's in Tifa's room? I will show know. everything you can do in Tifa's. Well, no, no, no. I'm saying, do we get to do the thing now or later? Oh God, that's that actually sounded kind of weird, Danny. I'll show everything you can do in Tifa's because room. Because there's because there's a bunch of things you can, <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of things you can do. Yeah, this yeah this so, is it. This is it. This is what I'm talking about. Yeah, I yeah. So on. you. Yep, so you can play the piano here. <laughs> I like Tifa's, like, antagonizing Cloud here. Like, did you go into my house? Did you go into my room? You're playing my piano? <laughs> now, remember these notes. I mean, yeah, they're playing the Final Fantasy VII theme, but remember these specific notes. It's like, it's like, oh, relax, Tifa. <laughs> All I did was just play a little bit of chopsticks. No. Yeah, so remember the write down those notes or remember them. They will come in handy later. And panty raid. Uh, I somehow. Okay, Cloud. I was gonna make a I, I, I was gonna make a joke about it, but it's like, well, I think that pretty much said it all right there. <laughs> Cloud. Yep, so, <laughs> it's like, yep. All right, so on her desk, there's a letter. Did you read my letter? <laughs> yeah. You remember what it said? <laughs> Cloud's being very no, open here no, out of nowhere. No, see, <laughs> shop, I never, shop. I never did any, I never did any of this just because I felt bad. <laughs> but well, uh, it's like it's like I said, diary. I want, I, I want to show off as much as possible. No, 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 you're so. right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> By the end of this, Cloud's gonna have a huge fucking fist print in his. <laughs> you're more proud about it than I am. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Dear Diary, today Cloud looked into my eyes again, but only for a brief moment. <laughs> <laughs> then the hot dog stand, stand, stand came by and, and, and looked away. Then the what? <laughs> I, I swear, I, also I swear to God, I think his hair keeps getting spikier every time I look at him. I almost lost my eye the other day. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's, that's where it's like, yeah, kind of weird, where it's like, yeah, you read half the letter and they give you the option, do you want to continue reading it or not? It's like, we've already begun, we might as well finish. Unless you get bored. You know what? Now that I think about it, this is actually... I won't spoil anything, but in context, this is actually doubly creepy. How like, so? I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up when we're done recording. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Oh. I, when we're done recording, so I don't leave you guys hanging, but... It's like, uh, I'll, 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 I'll bring it back up when, when, when it's no longer spoilery. It's like, uh, I, feel, I feel stupid. I see. I, see. I, I legit feel stupid. I thought the piano bit came later. And I, I, I didn't think that was something you had to take care of now. No, I mean... It, well, like, you don't have to do the piano here now. I'm just showing... I just showed that off just because, you know, they... This is where they actually do give you the notes. Now, later on, like, actually when you're in, like, disc two, I believe it is? Like, way, way, way later on. If you play those notes, you know, that's where it's like, you have to play those exact notes, which gives you the Final Fantasy VII theme, and you'll... And it'll unlock something. It's just... If you don't... 
read it up online or something, then it's just pretty much like a crapshoot, because it's like, okay, I don't know how the hell to play, I don't know what notes to play. This is the flashback that tells you what notes you should be playing. That's why I showed it. Oh, okay. Wait, that was Zangen? I didn't I didn't even realize you can see him in the game. Yep, Zangen. So Zangen is a martial arts instructor. He's the guy that taught Tifa how to fight. Nice. Yep, so now we're just gonna go on ahead and move along. Next time. Dun dun dun. So, so yeah, that's like the first half of the flashback. So join us next time and we will finish it. And oh god, shit's going down. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs>